Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. Today's tip is kind of an addendum to yesterday's Tech Help video, where I showed you one way to calculate age brackets from the demographics of your customers, like what their age is, put them in a group, right? 18 to 24, 25 to 49. And I mentioned in that video that there's a million ways to do this, and I gave you my preferred way. And I mentioned there was another way to do it with a switch function that, I, I mean, yeah, I, I kind of think it's a little more difficult for a beginner, but if you know the switch function, this could be easier and faster. So let me start by saying this. First, if you want to know what I am talking about, go watch the age demographics video that I released yesterday, and that'll give you all the basics. And second, if you want to learn about the switch function, go watch this video. I got a video for everything. It's basically, the switch function is basically gets rid of nested if functions, IIF functions, right? So you can, if you have multiple options, instead of having if this, then if that, then if that, instead of having a bunch of those, you can use the switch function. So go watch this if you want to learn what the switch function is. Okay, so now that you're on board and you know what all of that stuff is, now let me show you how to use the switch function to do what I did in the last video a different way. Okay, so here's the video from yesterday. I did some cool, funky stuff with uh, with pie charts for the, the members. We went through uh, you know, modern charts and the classic charts and a whole bunch of different weird stuff. But what we did is we built this customer queue where we figured out the age, and then we set up different brackets like this for the groups, and then a decade. Then, and this is fine, this is the way I've done it for years and years and years. There's a different way. There's a million ways to do everything in Access. I can think of at least four ways to do most things. So let's copy this guy, All right? Control C, Control V, make a copy of it. We'll call it Customer 2 Q or whatever. We'll just do it a different way. Ready? Design view. All right. We need the age, but we can get rid of these brackets here. Okay, we're going to replace this with a switch function. I'm going to zoom in so you can see it. Shift F2. And this is what it looks like. I'll call it age group. Okay, and we're going to put the switch function in here. And then we've got a condition and then a value if it's true. And then another condition and then another value if it's true. And the switch function drops out as soon as it finds one. Okay, so this is the first one that works is what you get. So we'll start off with, we'll start from the bottom. Age is less than 18 comma and then you put in here what you want its group name to be now i'm going to start it off with a one because when it comes to the aggregate query later we're going to sort these and if you don't if you don't put a number or something at the front it's going to sort in whatever alphanumeric order you get so i like to do it this way so one and then under 18 okay then comma then your second group just like i did in the switch function video all right so next we'll say if age is less than 25. Now remember, anybody under 18 is already dropped out. The switch function exits. Okay, so now we're going to get people that are 19 through 24, right? Less than 25, comma, and then in quotes, what you want it to say, two, and then it's going to say in here, we're going to want to say 18, because remember, the other group is under 18, right? So it doesn't include 18. So this one is 18 to 24, okay? If you, want, if you don't want to get confused, you can put less than or equals to in here. Less than or equal to 17. Whatever. However you want to do it. Okay. Comma. What's the next group? Let's go age uh, less than 50. Comma. So this one will then be uh, 25 to 49. Okay. And then everybody else. So age is greater than or equal to 50. Comma. And then group 4. Oh, I forgot my group three over here. You have, you have your three for sorting, right? Three, period. Right? And then this would be group four. And then we'll say 50 and up. Close your quotes. Close your parentheses. I don't know. I just think this is more complicated than what I did before. But it's a matter of opinion. Okay? Hit OK. Especially for a beginner. Beginners look at the switch function. And they go, huh? The if function, for some reason, I think... And I've been teaching Axis now for almost 30 years. I think when we get to the if function, people are like, they get it. You know, oh, yeah, okay. Switch function is like, it, I don't know, it throws people. Uh, save it, and now run it, and there's your groups. 
All right, and let me sort it by this. Right click sort. And you can see here's all your under 18ers. Yup. There's group two. See why, I, see why I put the number in front of it? All right, there's your 18 to 24s. Yup. And so on. Okay. Now, because if you didn't do this, you get 18 to 24 first, then under 18 would be at the bottom. And you don't want to put 0 to 18 because that's just kind of silly. Okay, now we just aggregate this like we did in the last class. Save changes, yes. All right, create, query design, bring in the customer 2 queue that we just made, bring in age group twice, just like we did in the last video. And then we're going to turn on aggregating. Okay, and then we're going to group by, and then we're going to count. We're going to count the records this time, because you can't sum those up, because it's a, it's a text field. Okay, you want to sort, we'll sort this one, ascending, and then run. And there you go. See that? There's your gauge group, and the count of the number of people that have that in that field. Okay. And th again, there are some benefits to doing it this way. There's some benefits to doing it the other way. But uh, just pick whichever one you think is easier. I don't want I don't want a barrage of emails and people going, "Oh, this switch method's easier," and then other people disagree. And I don't know. I'm just again, what did I say at the very beginning of the last video? Working with Access is like playing with Legos, right? My job is to show you all the different ways that these pieces go together. There's five different ways I can think of to do this. I showed you guys one. I showed the members another way. We used a table so we could change those age groups. Uh, at the, the user level can change those instead of having to go into the query design mode. Because you never want your end users playing with your queries. Right? You lock that stuff down. I got other videos on that. But this is another method you could do it if you want to get in there and build a query to do it. So I, there's lots, lots of different ways to put these Legos together, folks. So there you go. There's your fast tip for today. I hope you learned something. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full-length courses found on my website, not just for access, too. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a Diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout-out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more, and they'll always be free. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1. And it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website. You can send me your question there.
While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.